Okay, welcome everyone. Welcome to the August cohort meeting. Um, so basically this meeting is to help you guys and where you just tell us what are the current challenges that you are faced with. We just want to check up on you guys. I am aware that you guys are supposed to be done with HTML and CSS. Junaid, please mute your microphone. Thank you. All right, I'm aware that you guys were supposed to be done with HTML and CSS on Monday, but since the meeting was moved to Wednesday, today should technically be the last day for HTML and CSS. I will not be asking you guys to present for HTML and CSS, but you guys will start presenting when we have the project on Bootstrap. Okay, so let's just find out from all the different people in this cohort. Let's hear from Sipa Mandla. How are you and what are the challenges that you have faced? Hey, hi, how are you? I'm good, thanks. I'm fine, I'm fine. Ash, uh, you know, I'm a bit behind, but I'm catching up. Mm. Uh, I think... Uh, this week I'm wrapping up uh, CSS, so it's a bit challenging coming from T uh, HTML. So I think uh, I'll get there. Okay, yes. all right. And are you facing any challenges with your individual capstones or your pay project? Are you done with your pay project? Mm, my individual uh, project, I'm done. I'm done doing that. Then we're still busy with the paid project okay yes. all right you guys are aware you were supposed to be done on monday yes 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 all right please finish that one guys because i will be grading you guys for those capstones and please submit them to me or to Janaid alexander which is one of our tas as well so that we can give you grades and feedback on what you guys can improve on and yeah Okay, let's hear from Mufaro. I can. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah. So initially, the the issue the issues I had was like the like like when you're working with a partner, the coordination of like sharing the code with each other because I didn't mm. understand how GitHub worked properly in the beginning, but then that that ended up sorting itself out. All right. So basically collaboration with your partner on GitHub with your yeah. partners. Okay. All right. We do have an entire section on Git and GitHub coming, but it's only after level three, I think. So don't worry too much about collaborating, but we will try to help you guys just to be able to push your code and be able to share your code with your partner because you do have a lot of capstones and paid capstones that you'll be working on. And in terms of uh, handing in the projects, like should we email them to you or send them on the, through Malsoft, like on the chat or what, what should we do? I would advise you to share it on the activity feed or the platform and then only share your, your repo link, right? And make sure that in your repo link, you also deploy your project as well so I can have a look at it before I mark it. And then if you if you prefer, you can also send it directly to my DMs in the platform. That's also fine. And then uh, once it's marked, like mm -hmm. how do we how do we get the feedback? Do we do we have send, like another call like this or no, I just send you the feedback to you in your DMs. And then the feedback will entail everything that you you can improve on on the current project that you submitted and what you've done well and then we'll give you a grade for that. And then it contributes to your final mark at the end of the course. So like after you've received the feedback, can you make changes and get a better mark? Are yes. you allowed to do that? You are, you are allowed to do that. Okay. Yes. All right, perfect. Let's hear from Karabo. Um, hi, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. How are yeah. you? I'm good on yourself. My network is giving me problems. 
So it's okay. I, don't, I don't know what I'm is the question that I'm responding to or um just tell us how you've been and what are the current challenges you're facing of HTML and CSS? Are you done with your capstone project? Uh, okay. Um uh, the individual one, the CZ one, I'm done with it. Um the pay one, we're not done with it. Uh we've been having communication challenges. Um uh, and uh, network, cha- not network, but power challenges. So by that, I mean, uh, initially we had agreed to start uh, over the weekend, but there were power outages for my, on my partner's side. And the arrangement was we're going to code differently. Like she's going to code on her side. I'm going to code on my side. Then we're going to share the codes, compare, then make changes. But uh, we were not able to do that because uh, she experienced power outages on her side. So we still have to compare our codes with regards to the Capstone project. Um, my challenges uh, so far is CSS because I'm struggling with knowing how to, like in terms of combinations, how to like combine the colors to get a balance you'd get that um, I end up with very, very, very bright colors. And I sit back and say, would someone else appreciate it if I were to submit a project that is this bright? Then when I go back to the drawing board, I can't find not so bright colors. So even on the um, the feed on the app, uh, when I posted my capstone project, I tried to indicate her if anyone can assist me with finding colors that are not a combination and balance of colors that are not so bright, yeah, I'd appreciate it. So far, that's my challenge. So um, I don't know if we're going to be able to get an extension on the capstone so that we can just try to finish it. Mm, okay. All right. But I'm aware that you guys even had an extra two days because this was due on Monday. Yes, right. so yeah. yeah, so I last heard from my partner on Monday. <laughs> That's the thing. So I don't know if the there's still power outages that side or yeah. Okay. Just please please speak to your partner and make sure that you guys submit before the end of today, so before five. All right. Um where do we submit? You can send your repo link straight to me or share it on the activity feed on the platform. All right, no problem. All right, cool. And guys, I know collaborating is not easy, especially if your partner is experiencing different issues, like she's saying load shedding. I totally understand, trust me. And I feel like HTML and CSS is not that hectic. So you guys had a lot of time to be able to finish this project. And I would also advise that if you guys can start with the pay projects, that will be even more wonderful. Because if you start with the pay, then you're done with that and then end with the individual capstone because that way you guys are just implementing and just applying everything that you've learned with your partner. Okay, and I just sent on the chats, I shared a link where you can get inspiration or colors that are mainly used for different applications. Like you said, Karabo, you're struggling with not picking colors that are too bright or colors that are not, you know, recommended. So just check out colorhunt.co. I think that's a good one that you can, yeah. And I've also used She Codes. I know She Codes has um they have a color scheme or a color palette situation where they just share with you colors that you can use or gradients that you can incorporate into your project as well. There's a lot of resources, guys. Just Google and try to find them, and yeah, you'll be okay. All right, let's hear from Nelisi. Oh, hi guys. Uh, so I don't have much to, to like maybe let's say complain about with the pay project. 
I was fortunate enough to be uh, paired with someone who was uh, well versed in uh, in HTML and CSS. So she had more experience than me. But uh, how we went about doing the project was, so we decided on which projects we'll take on. And then we decided on how we are going to structure everything and whatnot. And then we divided like web pages between the two of us. So if one was working on the home page, the other one is working on the buttons. Then we come together. Maybe we would have like meetings. Then the way we speak about like colors and which colors to choose, which pictures are nice, and what can we add? How can we make our websites more appealing? And then with my personal project also, yeah, I did not come across any problems with. Oh, I did at first come across the effect of colors also, but I just like went to Google and it googled. I saw websites, I went on YouTube, found help, and yeah, everything was fine after that. So we are done. I'm done with my personal project and she's also done. And we are also done with the pay project. Amazing. Well done, guys. Well done for getting everything done in record time. Excellent. Um, and just make sure that you guys share your repo links with me so I can give you a grade and also give you feedback as well okay cool all right okay and then let's hear from let's see nana hi everyone hi um, how are you i'm good and yourself i'm good thanks yeah uh on my side um as i've all a uh, or you already know I have deferred from July cohort to August, so I had more time to go back and redo other lessons. Um, so I'm done with indi individual projects. And uh, as for pair project, my teammate had some issues. She was a bit uh, struggling with uh, the lessons, and I think it took her uh, the whole week um, to finish up her lessons and also when it comes to building the website um, we started over the weekend but she was unable to sort of contribute um, she didn't really understand a lot of things and she told me she's struggling and she's overwhelmed so I had to do the pair project by myself so that's what but I'm done with it so yeah who's your partner uh, Lindo Kuche. Is she currently on the call? Mm, I don't know. Let me check. Um, no. She's not on the call. Okay. Yeah. Okay, this is why we have these meetings, guys, so that you yourself can tell us what challenges you are faced with, right? And also, we have the video, request a video future, where you can just send me a DM and request me to help you. Okay, so if you guys are facing issues, don't be afraid to reach out. I know Mufaro reached out. I was also helping Sipia Amandla last week to sort out things on their side. So don't be afraid to reach out, guys. That's what I can say to you. And we don't want you to be working on a peer project by yourself. That's not the intention of these projects. It's to help you to learn how to collaborate with others because as a software developer, you will be working a lot with other people on projects. Okay, but it's okay. Do you think you'll be able to submit and then I'll be able to speak to your partner, Lindo Kuse, right? Yes. All right. Thank you for letting me know about that. Okay, thank you. I'll submit. All right, and then let's hear from Morangi. We can't hear you, Morangi. Still not audible.
I don't know. Can you guys hear me? Hear him? No. No. Okay, I think Morangi is having issues with his microphone. In the meantime, let's move on to Mahlomola. Are you there? Oh, I is um, yeah. Hello. All right. How's everything? Hello. What challenges have you been faced with? So far, I think I am good. So the pet project, we shared the work with my partner, then I deployed it. So also on the activity uh, log, blog, I uploaded it, I can check. So the individual one, I'm going to upload it uh, after this call. I think I'm fine for now. All right, all right. I will check out your project on the activity feed. Well done. Well done for finishing on time. That's great. All right. Let's hear from Asipi Lentombi. Hi, guys. Hi, Asi. How are you? How, how are the mm-hmm. challenges? Are you faced with any? <laughs> um, yes, I am faced with challenges. Um, I currently don't have a laptop because last week, Tuesday, um, I was having power outages, um, load shedding. So my laptop was connected to the wall socket and everything. So when the power came back, I don't know, it came back strong or what happened, but it short circuited my laptop. So it's been going for repairs. Um, but I do go to a library here and there. Like even now, currently I'm at my local library to just try and, you know, catch up and not be left behind that much. Um, I was able to do my 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 capstone project, the individual one. And um, but since the laptop was doing the things that it was doing, some of my work got lost. And I was having troubles with connecting to, I mean, being able to share my code on GitHub. Mm-hmm. So I think even my my partner was not able to get anything from me because I was not able to upload anything where we could communicate on GitHub. But I think maybe we can, maybe I can send it individually to her and all that stuff because I did also try sending my profile to her for her to go and look there but all in all it's just a communication problem let me just say that um mm. also on my side but um i'm trying to get there okay all right mm. and here's the the reason why developers use github for reasons like this that Asi is faced with where she loses her laptop and it's not working or it crashes if you pushed all your code to github you will be able to get that code on whatever machine you'll be working on and you wouldn't have lost your work, you know. Mm. So please, guys, make sure that you're using GitHub. I'll even maybe make a call for you guys where we, where I teach you guys how to push your code to GitHub because yes. it's so important that you don't lose your work and collaborating with your partners on GitHub is also so important because that's what the real devs do. And we're trying mm-hmm. for you guys to catch on to this as early in your coding journey as possible. Okay. okay. But will you please do make sure that you submit your work before five today because I'll be grading you guys and sending feedback. Okay. All right. Cool. I think that's everyone on the call. Morangi? Uh, yes, uh, I, am I audible yes, at the moment? Yes, we can hear you perfectly. Yeah, sorry for earlier for not being audible. No problem. So, uh, I kind of like joined late, and when I joined late, uh, everything was uh, a bit hard for me. I had to do a lot of catch-up, but nevertheless, uh, I completed uh, uh, all, I, 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 I managed to study all materials. I'm finding... Uh, CSS a little bit hard for me to master or to play around with it. Uh, another thing is that uh, I had a problem. Of, I think I, I had a call with you, Tevoko, 
I told you the problem I had where I couldn't access the two uh, the two CSS projects and to date they have not uh that issue has not been resolved even if uh, after even after uh texting Loris. So I'm still stuck on those projects. I, I managed to a friend a friend managed to send me one one project and I did it. The 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 the, the pay one I didn't manage to, to 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 get it or to access it. So okay. so your only issue is getting access to the rest of the project, right? On the platform. Yeah, so but I, I at the moment I, I managed to, to, to do the the, the the C V one and also the 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 form one and also the let's just say all individual projects I've done them. But the pair project I haven't been able to get it. Uh, okay. Someone promised to send me, and they haven't sent. Also, I haven't found a partner, so I'm just doing everything alone. Um, okay, let me take note of that so I can help you after this meeting, and I'll send you a screenshot in the meantime. And then let me contact Larif to sort that issue out. All right. All right, guys. If you guys have any other questions, please let me know. Um, so after this, Mufaro, you have your hand up. Yeah, I wanted to ask. So uh, when we first started, uh, Larat said something about the 100 days of code challenge. I wanted to ask if you could like, uh, please re-explain like, what we have to do there and like what it's for. Okay, so basically the 100 days of code is a way to hold yourself accountable in your journey of coding. So, for instance, you guys just did a project on HTML and CSS with your partners and individually. So you just maybe share it on your LinkedIn, tell people what you've learned, tell people the challenges you were faced with, share with them a link to the project so they can check it out. You never know who's watching. And maybe a recruiter will find the project that you build interesting and would want to hire you. So that's the whole point of 100 Days of Code. And also, it's just for you to join a community of devs where you guys keep each other accountable. Okay, yeah, thanks. That's the best I can explain it. Mm -hmm. All right. And then, Nana, no, no, you also have your hand up. Yeah, I just want to ask uh, if you already posted your projects on the dashboard, should I send them to you directly also? You can do that as well. That's okay. okay. But I will find it even on the activity feed. Okay, thank you. All right, cool. All right, so guys. Um, all right, so Morangi, you have your hand up again. Or you forgot the word. Yeah, I don't want to end up again. So I wanted to ask from you guys or my my classmate, uh, can you please share uh, materials where you maybe you, which you find easy to, which you use to master CSS with or materials, materials which were helpful for you to, I mean, can you just share materials you use to learn CSS which you find very helpful? Because I've been searching a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of them, they're not that much helpful. I mean, they're not right. that much practical. But can you just say tips on how you manage to, yeah. Okay, let's, Junaid, do you have an answer? Or any of you guys? What materials have you guys been using to help you with CSS? Um, okay, let me see. Uh, uh... So there's CSS as a reference, I think, and there's more, more. I, I, I will share in the group. I will share in the group. All right. I think what the most important is just YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, because CSS is CSS is a lot of. It requires a lot of patience, even though it's easy. I would say it's easy, but the patience that comes with it makes it very, very difficult. For me personally, um, I just go with the flow in terms of the design. So if I'm in a project where I have to create something from scratch, I look at inspiration from templates, 
from Bootstrap or Wix.com and other resources. And then I tried to recreate that. So, yeah. And also, chat GPT will be your best friend, guys. Just ask, hey, how do I style this code? I want to make sure that my cards are arranged in a flex box, for example. Or I want them side by side. And then he'll tell you, okay, use flex box in your CSS. And then this is how you can style it. So use your resources as much as you can. Chat GPT, Stack Overflow. And yeah, you'll be okay. Don't stress too much about CSS. Because... In the real dev world, you won't even be using CSS as much because they use templates and they use libraries that help them to style their projects more easily. Yeah. Mufaro, do you have any resources that you use for CSS? Uh, I also use ChatGPT and um, mm. the MDN website. All right. Perfect. Perfect. There you have it, guys. All right. I'm just going to tell you guys about level level two. We will be open up, opening up level two for you guys, hopefully before the end of today or early tomorrow, so you guys can start with Bootstrap. So you'll be styling your web pages with Bootstrap. We give you an introduction to the fundamentals of Bootstrap, styling with Bootstrap, and how you can download all the different templates for bootstrap we have a we have an account a mouse soft account that you guys will log in and we give you all the credentials as well and the passwords so that you can log into that website and be able to use the templates so you don't have to buy anything with your own money and then your individual project will be due after one week so you guys have one week for this one and the individual capstone, it's actually two weeks. Sorry, my bad. You guys have two weeks with Bootstrap. So the project will be due in two weeks. Let me just check the date so I don't confuse you guys. So if Bootstrap opens today, you guys will have this week. Next week will be one week. Then on the 6th of September you guys will be presenting your bootstrap projects. Please take note of that date. 6th of September will be your presentations day, same time as today, where you guys will be presenting only on the pay project, only on the pay project that you'll be working on with your partner. So the individual capstone, you guys will just be rebuilding a homepage for mousesoft.co.za you guys need to use a template and customize it to any creative way that you would like. But we would like it to be as close as possible to the Mousesoft one. But if you want to be creative, we will not penalize you for that either. As long as you make sure you use Bootstrap and you deploy your project. And then the group project, which is most important because you guys will be presenting on it. You'll be building a landing page for Uber beauty services app okay and we even give you an example or an inspiration where you look at the glam squad.com page just look at how they built it and how they styled theirs and just create your own it doesn't have to look exactly the same as this one use your own templates be creative and make sure that you incorporate all the different concepts that you're learning on bootstrap the requirements is that um, you will design the glam connect landing page using your creativity and your current skill set in html css and bootstrap and your project needs to be responsive meaning if i open your deployed link on my cell phone it has to be able to show beautifully on my device as well so the elements mustn't be juggled up and I can't see things. It has to be responsive. And then the content, you can use whatever content you would like. And then make sure there's a form on it where people can put in their credentials, their passwords. It doesn't have to be functional, right? As long as people can just type into it, that's fine. Because you guys haven't reached that level yet. 
make sure that you have a navigation so a land a nav bar where people can just press on the home page the about us page and locate to the contact page without having to scroll all the way down for example all the way up just to navigate to a page and then your presentations at the end where you guys just present your work to the class and you tell us what you learned what are the challenges that you faced what did you learn from the project and what could you do better in future yeah all right and that's it guys do you guys have any questions regarding the the pay project? Anyone? Morangi, you have your hand up. Nana? Oh, I wanted to ask about uh, the partners. Will will you uh, find us other partners? Because on this project, uh, other, our partners didn't really couldn't do much. Okay. So, yes. I will be reshuffling you guys and giving you new partners because we want you to experience everyone in your cohort, right? So I'm not going to let you guys work with the same people. So... I will try to send out a list hopefully latest tomorrow or today where I just give you guys new partners. I currently have the old partners open right now. And there's only 18 of you guys in the entire cohort. So, Nana, who was your partner? You said your partner was Lindo, Lindo. right? Yeah. And Lindo wasn't active in this project. Yeah. Okay. And then did anyone else experience the same issue with a certain student or your partner? No one else experienced their partner not being active. All right, cool. So I'll be pairing you guys at the end of this meeting and sending it out on the activity feed. All right, guys, if there's no further questions, we can end the meeting here. Good luck. I hope you enjoy Bootstrap. It's really fun. It's not complicated. Basically, the code is already written down for you. That's the power of templates. You just need to go and edit it to your liking and to your preference. And yeah, I think you guys will enjoy this one. I personally enjoy Bootstrap. So good luck and I'll see you guys in next week's meeting. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Uh, it was so I did contact her. She told me she's applied for self tech, so she's just waiting please for wait, feedback. Janae, Janae, please wait. I'm trying to stop the recording quickly. <laughs> Sorry, my apologies. My apologies. Yeah, I can't seem to find it on my phone now. Mm.
Junaid, are you able to stop the recording on your side? No, I don't think I can do that. Mm, I don't because know why I can't do it on my phone. Because I'm not the host, so I can't. Let's, no. If I try to give you host thing, add as co-host. Let's see. I added you. Can you try? Let me check. Host control. No, I don't think I can. Because I, this is nothing about the record. Stop recording. Please don't exit the meeting. I'll tell mm. you in a minute. I just want to see if I can do something quickly. Can you hear me, Jonet? Yeah, I can hear you clearly. Okay, cool.
Okay.